So we're at the City Gallery in Wellington, awaiting the start of the grand final of the New Zealand Initiative Debate Series for 2017. I'm excited. The chance to debate in front of a big crowd of people who are interested in politics is really exciting for me. I'm always nervous before debates, uh, particularly debates in fancy auditoriums. I think that debating gives us an opportunity to see some skills that are not often on display in our society as much as we'd like. Fingers crossed, but I'm feeling, feeling confident. Hopefully it will be a well-fought one against our traditional rivals, Victoria University. Welcome to the grand final of the Next Generation Debates. We've been doing this for six years, but we find it particularly important to bring policy debates to young people, and this is what this tournament is about. In case you're wondering, this is a bag of rocks. But what I can tell you is this. Governments should maintain their debt around reasonable levels. Without having to cut back on the things you've already promised. Which is incredibly low by international standards. I enjoy debating in general because of the competitive nature of it. But here's the other really important thing. There's two sides to lots of different issues and it's important to really get to the heart of those issues through debate. So what's important there, interest rates might increase. Our ability to be free from the influence of government. It connects that intellectual side of debating with an audience who are genuinely very interested in it. Secondly though. <laughs> it is analytical, it's robust, it's evidence-based. But the final thing we would say. It's time to lighten the load. So I think we should begin by congratulating both teams for an excellent debate. We have awarded it unanimously to the team from Victoria University. <laughs> I'm delighted to, to have been able to take part. And I know Ailey's back for a second year, so uh, we're suckers for punishment in that regard. So thanks, NZI.